Hi, welcome to DPV Technology. In this video, we will learn how to connect this 4 into 3 keypad with this Arduino board. So let's get started. You can buy all types of electronic components, modules, sensors at base price from www.dpvtechnology.com. This keypad has four rows, one, two, three, four. For each row, we get an output port here. So to tell four rows, we get four output port from the left side, one, two, three, four. And for three columns, we get three output ports here three columns one two and three so here one two and three so we have to connect these ports to our arduino pins now you first open your arduino id then go to file then go to example and then go to keep it so here we will find keep it so here is the keep it and then go to hello keep it and open it if you did not find a keypad in your example folder, then you have to download the keypad library from the GitHub. So go to GitHub, the link is given in the description of this video, then go to clone download, clone or download here, then download zip. Then you go to your download folder, find the downloaded library and then extract it, extract here and then copy and paste the extract that folder in the Arduino library folder. So I have already downloaded it, so I will not replace it again. Don't forget to reopen your Arduino software after downloading the Keypad library. So in the Hello Keypad folder, we can see the rows are connected here 5432. That means we have to connect our uh, row pins to Arduino digital pin 5432 and the column pins to Arduino digital pin 876. So let us see the connections. We have already told that these first four pins from the left side are for rows. So first pin that is first port we have to connect to pin number 5 of the Arduino. So let us connect it to pin number 5. Then similarly connect the second pin to pin number 4, third pin to that is third port to pin number 3 and fourth port to pin number 2 of the Arduino. Then connect the first column port that is this one to pin number 8 of the Arduino. Similarly connect the second column port to pin number 7 of the Arduino and third column port to pin number 6 of the Arduino. So our connection is now ready. Now connect your Arduino board to your laptop or computer, then upload the code. After uploading the code, go to serial monitor and then we will now press 1. So we can see here 1, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, star zero has so we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine zero here in the serial monitor also that means it is working properly so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and don't forget to like and comment you can buy all types of electronic components modules sensors at base price from www.dpvtechnology.com so thank you